First at six tonight, big developments in the campaign scandal surrounding D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray. Now the mayor himself stands accused of playing a role in the funding of an illegal shadow campaign. This all started when millionaire Jeffrey Thompson pleaded guilty to charges of bankrolling several illegal campaigns. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford live now with the mayor's defensive response. Sam, tell us about it. Well, Leon, the mayor admits that the timing of these allegations have hurt him, even though he denies that they are true. Jeffrey Thompson, who says he gave around $2 million to various shadow campaigns on the D.C. and federal level, has now made a deal in which he goes after Mayor Gray. Jeffrey Thompson came to court by taxi today in a plea agreement that implicates D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray as a possible co-conspirator in violating D.C. campaign laws. Thompson pleaded guilty to two conspiracy counts, one federal, one D.C., for allegedly financing numerous off-the-book shadow campaigns, including court papers argued, one for then-candidate Vincent Gray. Thompson says Gray aide Vernon Hawkins approached him for funds for a get out the vote campaign and he told him only if Gray asked face to face. He says he and Gray met at liaison Gene Clark Harris's house where Gray gave him a one page budget for $425,000. Mayor Gray today. I had two or three face to face meetings with Jeff Thompson. I never handed him a budget uh, for anything. It's just not true. It's just absolutely untrue. Period. It's lies. Gray admits that this coming less than a month before the mayoral primary hurts him. You know, I'm, I'm still stunned from hearing this myself. I really thought that this would be the day when this would be over uh, for me. Obviously, uh, it isn't. The plea agreement also mentions a financial dispute D.C. had with one of Thompson's companies, which was quickly resolved after Gray took office. The implication was Thompson's money paid off. Thompson faces charges for financing eight shadow campaigns in D.C. and more on the federal level. And Thompson faces six months in jail on the D.C. crimes, 18 months for the federal. But the, the deal is that if he cooperates on the D.C. crimes, a maximum of six months is all he could get. The federal stuff would go away. One of the stranger things today is that Thompson said he asked members of the Gray campaign to call him Uncle Earl. And that was so that uh, if Mayor Fenty's people heard about it, Mayor Fenty was a mayor then, uh, it wouldn't get back to him and he wouldn't retaliate against him. Mayor Gray said today that he occasionally did call him Uncle Uncle, but that had nothing to do with illegal activities. Right now, we are awaiting a news conference from the U.S. attorney who is going to be talking about all of this on this obviously big day for the mayor's future. Reporting live from U.S. District Court, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.